Welcome everybody. Uh, I want to tell you a little story. Long about 1991, I was at SIG, and uh, there was a lot of fond memories at SIG, talking with Roland McDonald and watching, uh, you know, the different guys. Mike Pratt had just come out with his Magnum, and <clears throat> but Jim Lee was there, and I had remembered seeing in a Bob Hunt video. Uh, a Jim Lee line wrapping tool and it was kind of a neat way to do it really quick uh, and I asked Jim I said Jim do you have any of those line wrapping tools he said no I don't I don't make them anymore and it took about five years of bugging him every year at SIG you're going to make those? You're going to make those? He said, well, what would you pay for it? And I told him. And so the following year at SIG, he had one. And they look like this. Now, <clears throat> it's a clothes pin with a reel on it with copper wire. And uh, I got pretty good at making lines. Not, not as good as Jim. But we're going to take a look at uh, Jim showing you how to use his line wrapping tool. We're also going to get to see some other Jim's products that he had. And if you don't have, I own everything Jim makes. All the drills, all the scribes, uh, the nose ring tools. and uh, I, I've had him make me some specialty tools. And he makes the finest, the finest uh, prop extension on the market. And uh, he'll make it for whatever you want in any length you want. So... Why don't you give Jim a try? We'll take a look at uh, him wrapping lines. So sit back and enjoy. Okay, we're going to demonstrate the Lee Machine Shop line wrapper here. We'll start with a set of flying lines and a grommet or eyelet available from Melvin Schutte at MBS Model Products. Of course, the line wrapper is available from Lee Machine Shop. We get the wires laid around the eyelet like that. We take the line wrapper. We get the copper wire laid alongside the flying line. Around the grommet. And then we start a couple, a couple wraps around there by hand. And untangle this. We'll tighten the wrapper up there and then we swing that around like that and it wraps the lines on. We need a few more here. We get out to where we like the looks of that and then lay the other side of the wire back alongside the wrapped part. Run that around a few times there to get it started. Tighten it back up again and wrap it back. Before we get to the end, let's cut this little piece off here. Try not to poke you in the eye with that. Be careful. And we'll finish up the wraps there. Practice will make them look better, but uh, you'll get the idea. And we bring out a little extra. And the way I finish them off is a big loop here. And then there will be a little bit of a gap where the flying lines come around the eyelet. We'll go through that little notch there under the loop we've made. Pull that tight. Get our grippers here and keep pulling and a wiggling. And as that comes tight and everything looks good, it'll pop off with not much left. And there we go. 
quicker almost than it takes time to tell. This wrapper originally was developed. Here's the original back around 1980. I drew the Okay, we're going to try and put some more wire on this spool that I just ran out of. As you can see, I've got the bolt through the spool and everything. We're going to check it up in our variable speed drill here. And then get the wire fed into the hole in this one. And then voila! We'll get the wire wound on there just like that. Hopefully you stop the drill before it all goes sailing again. And this being the original uh, spool, I don't have the notches cut into it to uh, um, put the wire into, so I'm going to have to do something a little weird and let it go elsewhere. I figured you ought to know how to get a hold of us. Lee Machine Shop at 827 Southeast 43rd Street, Topeka, Kansas, 66609. Or give us a call at 785-266-7714. Email at jlee9 at cox.net. We'll be happy to help you get what you need. Well, since I got you here, I think it's time I demonstrated some of the other stuff that's available from Lee Machine Shop. First of all, our, one of our original products, our Propeller Scribe. This comes in different hub sizes for different sizes of holes in a prop. If you chip a prop and need to adjust the length, put the hub in the center of the prop, and then you can mark the end of the propeller exactly on both ends, uh, exactly the same to reduce the diameter to what you need to save a prop, or if you want to adjust the length of a prop. These come in a multitude of different hub sizes depending on uh, the shaft size of the engine you're using or the size of the hole in the propeller. Then we have our 5 ounce syringe. It features a replaceable o-ring that's very inexpensive. It has a positive stop to keep the plunger from coming out and spilling fuel on your nice white pants. Also has a couple of screws here provided or bolts so that you can loop the uh, fuel line off the end of the syringe back around to this uh, to keep dirt from getting into it. Uh, we also have the uh, guts for this available by themselves. And then we have the two ounce syringe which is just like its big brother except a little bit smaller. Now these come complete only. I don't have the uh, innards available separately for those. We have our ball drivers and now we're featuring the short and long version. Uh, the short version comes in several different sizes. The shaft on this is approximately three inches long. The long one comes in the uh, 5 64ths, 3 32nd, and 7 64ths only. It's about five inches long. And to continue with our products here, popular item is what I call a finger drill. Aluminum handle with a drill bit permanently set into it. Uh, these come in a variety, is a, a variety of sizes from uh, 16th up to 7 32nds I think it is. Uh, the drill is permanently set into there and very handy if you want to uh, make a, a hole that uh, you don't want the drill bit to really ruin or the, the drill makes too much power. Uh, very simple Glow plug wrench, uh, again in a variety of lengths. Uh, just almost guaranteed not to wear out. You'll probably lose it before you do anything to it. Of course our line wrapper that you just saw demonstrated. And this comes with uh, available 26 gauge is uh, typically what I send, but uh, 28 gauge is also available. It's uh, uh, about 12 thousandths diameter, whereas the 26 is 15 or 16 thousandths. We have Delrin Venturi's for a variety of applications. Um, check our listing or give us a call or whatever for 
what we have available. That uh, that line is expanding every now and then. We have a new product uh, here recently, a gasket cutter, um, or monocoat cutter for that matter. This is the standard one. It has approximately a just over a two inch arm on it here, so it'll do about a four inch diameter circle. The long arm version has a just over four inch arm on it, so it'll do up to a uh, an eight inch or a little over size circle. Uh, uses a, an exacto blade uh, for a cutter, so it is it is sharp. And then we do have, depending on availability, we'll have various Froom and Vico spinners available. What I do with these is make a new back plate out of 1 8 inch uh, 6061 aluminum. It's turned so it has an exact fit with that individual spinner. And then it has uh, drive uh, stuff put on the face of that. And then it's set into the spinner and matched to the spinner and checked for accuracy. We also have available lengths of uh, 6061 aluminum threaded quarter 28 uh, for the vintage Vico and Froome spinners as a replacement item. This is getting kind of hard to find, but we do have that available now. And if you always, of course, if you have any questions, give us a call.